Today on 2016 Mazda CX-5, we're going to review and install the current trailer hitch, part number C12170. Now this is one of the smaller hitches that you can put on your CX-5, and it's great for a variety of applications. First off, it's a trailer hitch, so if you got a real light duty trailer, some single axle trailer with like 12 inch wheels on it, this would be a perfect match for that kind of trailer. Also, if you're not going to be pulling a trailer, this is going to be great for a bicycle rack. This inch and a quarter size, it does lend you up to a variety of bicycle racks and up to four bikes carrying capacity in some cases. And also, if you've run out of room inside your vehicle and you need to use a cargo carrier, this will work with a variety of those as well. As you can see, not much is showing on the hitch. All we have is our inch and a quarter opening right here and our safety chain loops. What's nice about this design is that the entire crossbar is actually hidden behind the bumper cover right here. If we look on the side here, this is the hitch pin hole. And this uses a half inch diameter hitch pin, which does come with the hitch. Weight capacity of our hitch is going to have a tongue weight, which is a weight that pushes down on the hitch at 350 pounds. Now this also has a pull weight of 3,500 pounds. Of course, you want to double check with the owner's manual or your dealership to make sure that your vehicle can handle those kinds of weights. Next, we'll go ahead and give you some measurements that help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of a bumper, it's going to be about three and a quarter inches. And from the top of the receiver opening down to the ground, be about 13 and a half inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how we installed the hitch. First step of our install is to get the vehicle ready. We need to go underneath the vehicle and locate uh, the holes where the hitch will install onto the body of the work. Now they're gonna be covered with some tape, so it'll be kind of hard to find. There's a square piece of tape right here that we can use a screwdriver to kind of help expose everything. Get it all cleaned out. Now if you go closer to the bumper, you see this round hole right here. There, underneath all this uh, seal right here is another sticker. Kind of got a feel for it, but it's up in here. You want to clean that out as well. You'll also notice a plastic clip right here. That has to be removed to make room for the hitch. We'll do this on both sides. I'm just going to grab it with some uh, needle nose pliers and just work it loose. Next up is to go ahead and lower the exhaust to get it out of the way and make things a lot easier to work on. I'm just simply using a cam buckle strap and just hanging it from the springs to hold the exhaust up. To remove our exhaust, we need to remove it from the rubber hangers, like this one right here. It'll be, uh, depending on the vehicle, it'll be three or four. On our passenger side on this one, we're gonna have two of them to remove. We're gonna use some spray lubricant on the bottom one to help loosen it up. And we're gonna use an exhaust uh, hanger tool to help remove it. Now this works fine, or if you want, you can use a pry bar and get the same results. Now when you do remove them, always lower the bottom half. Leave the, this rubber hanger connected to the top half. Now I'll go ahead and loosen up my cam buckle strap and lower the exhaust. Our vehicle's ready, now let's get our hitch ready. In between the vehicle and the hitch, these uh, washers have to be installed. It's easier to do it now before we put the hitch up into place. So for each hole, there's gonna be four of them. We're gonna take our, some packing tape here and just use that to help hold our washer in place. Make sure enough room for a bolt to go through. And it's okay to have a little bit loose to, for adjustments. Now we'll go ahead and turn our attention back to our vehicle where we need to install hardware. Just in the holes that are closest to the bumper, we need to install this carriage bolt and this block. And to help us do that, we'll use a provided bolt leader here. What we're going to do is take our bolt leader, run it through the hole we're going to use, which is right here, then out the bottom hole. Take our block, push into the frame, then thread on our bolt. Do the bolt leader just till it stops. Push the whole assembly inside. Do a quick test fit to make sure it pulls through the hole. Then we'll push it back in. And we'll repeat this same step on the other side of the vehicle. One thing to uh, consider is that the sealant on here is thicker depending on the vehicle. 
uh, some are going to be thicker or thinner than others. You may have to scrape this up and out of the way to make room for a hitch as well. At this point, you want to get an extra set of hands to help put the hitch up in position. Now remember, we'll take our bolt leader wire and run it from the inside to the outside. We'll go ahead and push it towards the back some, and we have to tuck it behind our bumper cover as well. And also that rubber hanger we left up there uh, has to stay there, but it might be in the way a little bit as you push it in. So you may have to move it around to help get it into place. We'll lift up the hitch and pull the bolt through. At this point, we still need to be careful just the weight of the hitch is trapping the bolts and hold it in place. We'll carefully unthread the bolt leader and we'll install the supplied flange nut. Go ahead and do it one more time on the other side. With our hitch still loose, we'll install the hardware going towards the front of the vehicle, which will be this metric bolt and this conical tooth washer. Now check out the washer, it has teeth on it. That always faces towards the hitch. So we'll go ahead and run our bolt through the hitch. Align the hitch up with the hole and go ahead and thread it into place. We'll leave this side loose and go ahead and install the hardware on the other side of the vehicle. Now after our hardware is uh, installed and tightened down by hand, we'll go ahead and torque the bolts down as specified in the instructions. At this point, our hitch is fully installed. Let's go ahead and put the exhaust back into place. Once again, we use some spray lubricant to help reinstall the exhaust. Let's give it a quick rattle test, and then we'll go ahead and take off our strap. And with that, the install is finished. And now finish it for a Kurt trailer hitch part number C12170 on this 2016 Mazda CX-5. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.